हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन द चैनल फिजियोलॉजी रीडिफाइंड टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द डीजेनरेटिव एंड द रीजेनरेटिव चेंजेस ऑफ द नर्व फाइबर इफ देयर इज एनी डैमेज ऑफ द नर्व फाइबर और इंजरी ऑफ द नर्व फाइबर then what happen like the other tissues nerve fiber also undergo degenerate degenerations nerve fiber also undergo degeneration for a for a certain period though in some cases after some time that particular nerve fiber also regenerate so in response to the injury or damage of the nerve fiber what type of degenerative changes take place in the nerve fiber after the injury and what type of regenerative changes take place in that particular nerve nerve fiber after a certain period that i will discuss today so please watch this video till the end so as i told that if a damage if a stimulus that has got the damaging intensity is applied on the nerve fiber or in short the nerve fiber gets damaged by any external or internal agent if the nerve fiber gets damaged then what happen that nerve fiber undergoes the degenerative changes that means nerve fiber has got some changes in which now that particular nerve fiber lost its normal function now if suppose there is a injury if this is the nerve fiber injury is take is taken place at this part of the nerve fiber a injury is taken place at this part of the nerve fiber the injury a damage of the nerve fiber is taken place at this particular moment particular uh, position of this nerve fiber then what happen distal to the injury this is the distal part distal to the injury of the nerve fiber a distal to the cartilages of the nerve fibers damaged end of the nerve fiber some degenerative changes are taken place which are known as wallerian degeneration so degeneration is of two types one is known as the wallerian degeneration and similarly in the proximal part of the cart end there also this is the distal end this is the distal part and this is the proximal part proximal part so in the proximal part of the cart end of the nerve fiber damage part of the nerve fiber whatever degenerative changes take place that is known as the retrograde degeneration so degeneration is of two types one is the wallerian one is the wallerian degeneration another one is the so this one is the degeneration towards this end is known as wallerian degeneration degeneration towards this end is known as retrograde regeneration so we can say that wallerian degeneration this is the changes changes in distal part of the distal part distal part of the nerve fiber changes in distal part of the nerve fiber is known as the wallerian degeneration whereas in case of retrograde degeneration 
changes takes place changes takes place in proximal part of nerve fiber so distal to the cartilage there is a wall area degeneration proximal to the cartilage there is a retrograde degeneration now what let us see what's happened what type of degenerative changes takes place in both these operations wall area degeneration and the retrograde degeneration so here you see as the injury is given at this point so first what happened this is the normal fiber which is which got injured by any by any damage stimulus or by any uh, external or the internal agent now what happened first as the nerve is damaged at this part as this part nerve is damaged what happened first there will be the swelling of the cell body or soma here you see in comparison to this cell body this soma it got it, it gets swelled so this is swelling of this swelling of this soma so it is the here there is a swelling of the soma so here you see there is a swelling of the soma take place swelling of soma or cell body this is number one. so in the proximal part of the injury or in the right to get degeneration what happened there is a swelling there is a swelling of cell body cell body swelling of the cell body and the nucleus is also swelled nucleus is also swelled so there is a new swelling of the nucleus also swelling of the nucleus also swelling of nucleus also takes place so nucleus nuclear swelling so swelling of the cell body and swelling of nucleus swelling of nucleus also take place that is in the proximal part of the injury or in case of red to red degeneration besides this what happened the these are the nasal bodies nasal granules so nasal granules becomes also few the nasal granules few nasal granules are there few nasals that means disintegration of the disintegration of the nasal bodies also take place disintegration of the nasal bodies also take place so here this integration of this integration of nasal granules take place this also happens in case of the retrograde degeneration immediately after the injury now what happened another at the distal part of the injury so this is the, the proximal part or retrograde degeneration in the wallerian degeneration distal to the injury what's happened there is a swelling here you see swelling of the axons also so axonal swellings axonal swelling also take place so axonal swelling is there secondly there is a bead formations so myelin myelin beads or beading of the myelin so what's happening here changes includes the axonal swelling axonal swelling and beading of the beading of myelin sheath beading of myelin sheath so beading of myelin sheath also take place and finally the retractions of the axon terminal 
from the muscles. So this is the effector organ, this is the muscle, this is the muscle, this is the muscle. So axon terminal is retracted, axon terminal is retracted from the muscle. That means retraction, retraction of axon terminal also takes place. Retraction of the axon terminal. So there is a retraction of retraction of axon terminal. This also takes place. This also takes place. So retraction of the axon terminal. Now in the next step, so this is the in the next step what happened now in the proximal end in the proximal end the disintegration or disappearance of all the nasal granules take place here you see no nasal granules are there so disintegration or disappearance of all the nasal bodies which is known as the chromatolysis so this is known as the Chromatolysis. Chromatolysis. So, in the proximal end, now what's happened? The chromatolysis. Chromatolysis or disintegration of the nasal granules. And what's happened? Here you see, here you see this green color one, what the? This denotes the cell organelles. Yes, cell organelles are there, but now the disintegrations of the cell organelles also take place. So, disintegration of cell organelles, disintegration of all the cell organelles, disintegration of cell organelles also take place in the proximal part of the injury. Now, at the distal part, that is the origin degeneration of what's happened. There is a there is a loss or disintegration of the axon. So you see, you see here continuous axon fiber. Now these integrations of the disintegration of axon terminal axon take place. This integration of axon takes place. This integration of axonal tube this integration of axonal tube takes place at the distal part secondly there is a disappearance of the myelin here you see no myelin sheet is there here myelin, myelin beading was there but now no myelin sheet so there is a no myelin sheet there is a no myelin sheet absence of myelin sheet absence of myelin sheath. So in here what's happened? There is a absence of myelin sheath. Absence of myelin sheath takes place. Myelin sheath and also the disintegration of the axon. Disintegration of axon also takes place. Besides these two things, now here you see some pseudopodia-like of substance is formed at the cut end of the nerve fiber that is known as the growth spouts or early growth spouts. Growth spouts are also formed. So growth, so here the appearance of appearance of growth spout appearance of growth spouts also take place at the cut end of the nerve fiber so these are the changes takes place at the distal part of the injury and these all are collectively known as the Wallerian degeneration and at the proximal part that is known as the retrograde degeneration so Degeneration takes place both in the 
एक्सोनल ट्यूबोनल साइट एक्सोनल ट्यूब साइट और एक्सोनल साइट एंड आल्सो द सेल बॉडी साइट वंस द डिजेनरेशन आर टेकिंग प्लेस एट द एक्सोनल साइट्स डिस्टल टू द इंजरी दैट इज नोन एज वॉलिडेन डिजेनरेशन एंड प्रोक्सिमल टू द इंजरी व्हाट एवर चेंजेस टेक्स प्लेस एट द सेल बॉडी इट्स एक्चुअली दैट इज नोन एज द रेट्रोग्रेड डिजेनरेशन नाउ आफ्टर some days or some few few days or few months what's happen this nerve fiber starts again regenerating nerve fiber again regenerate entire structures which was degenerated now will again appear and that part is known as the regeneration of the nerve fiber so regeneration of the nerve fiber so now we'll talk about the regeneration of the nerve fiber so here you see what's happened in the regeneration of the nerve fiber the regeneration of the nerve fiber generally takes place in the peripheral nervous system not usually takes place in the central nervous system that means if the central nervous system nerve fiber gets damaged generally there is a no regeneration of that nerve fiber is permanently damaged but in case of peripheral nervous system if the nerve fiber gets damaged then after some period that nerve fiber will again reappear will regenerate so central nervous system nerve fiber doesn't regenerate usually peripheral nervous system nerve fibers usually get regenerate now question comes why why the central nervous system nerve fibers do not regenerate this is because the in the central nervous system that is in the brain mainly there is a presence of a glial cells and one of the important component of the glial cells is the astrocytes which are the phagocytic cells basically phagocytic cells so once any nerve fiber suppose this nerve fiber is, is getting damaged immediately those astrocytes those glial cell phagocyte this damaged cell so rate of regeneration will be slower or that phagocytic activity by the glial cell towards the residual damaged part of the nerve fiber is much much more they rapidly engulf it they rapidly phagocyte phagocytose it and thereby there is no chance of getting regenerate re regenerated that nerve fiber do not regenerate in the central nervous system secondly the external environment of the brain that is not favorable for regeneration because within the external environment so many growth inhibitors are getting released and as these growth inhibitors are released regeneration is the basically the growth regrowth so that growth is not maintained is not maintained properly and thereby there is a no ch chance for regeneration of the central nervous system neurons so regeneration do not take place in the central nervous system neurons this is because of dual reason number one is the glial cell has got the phagocytic activity on the damaged neurons damaged parts of the neurons and secondly the external environment of the brain or the cns is not favorable towards the regrowth of the nerve fiber so regeneration takes place only in the peripheral nervous system so let us see what's happened during the regenerative process so during regeneration 
during regeneration what changes takes place here you see in this diagram so in first what happen the shrinkage of the cell body will start now that means that here you see cell was swelled so here now reduction of the swelling so here what happen there is a reduction of the swell swelling reduction of swelling of the cell body reduction of swelling of cell body takes place reduction of the swelling of the cell body takes place and then few granular few nasal bodies few nasal bodies nasal bodies start reappearing start reappearing so in the proximal part what happen in the proximal part what happen there is a so again there is in the at the regeneration in the distal part in distal part and in proximal part in proximal part so in distal in proximal part what happen reduction of the reduction of swelling of cell body this is number 1 and number 2 appearance of a reappearance of reappearance of few nasal bodies few nasal bodies starts growing here in the cell body at the distal parts what happen now here you see the myelin sheath myelin sheath is again formed myelin sheath <laughs> reappear starts reappearing myelin sheath starts reappearing so here myelin sheath myelin sheath starts reappearing starts reappearing that takes place in the distal part and there is also the here you see the growth cone say so growth cone is getting formed so this is the growth cone growth cone is formed growth cone growth cone is formed formation of growth cone from which from which the axon tube or the axis cylinder of the nerve is re established so now here re establishment of the axon fiber that the axis cylinder of the nerve fiber by the help of the growth by the formation of the growth cone so this growth cone is also getting formed at the distal part of the neuron and finally what happen in the proximal part finally in the proximal part here you see the nasal bodies cell all cell organelles all cell organelles reappear all cell organelles reappear cell size becomes normal cell size becomes normal and in the distal part what happen the reestablishment of the axis cylinder of the nerve reestablishment of the axis cylinder of the nerve so here what happen reappearance of axon tube or axis cylinder of the nerve or entire axon tube will be now integrated will be now re established and again the axon terminal will attach the attach the effector muscle so re establishment we can tell the re establishment 
of attachment of axon terminal with muscles so whatever muscles were retracted the nerve fiber inter nerve fiber was retracted from the nerve fiber from sorry from the muscle now again the nerve axon terminal will reattach the muscle so that connection between the muscle and the nerve is re established so that if any stimulus is applied on the neuron that particular muscle can be excited and thereby can give the response so this is how the neurons once get damaged re degenerate fast and then it again regenerates that phenomena regeneration phenomena exclusively takes place at the peripheral nervous system not in the central nervous system so this is all about the valerian degeneration proxim if the injury is injury is there in any nerve fiber degenerative changes takes place at the distal part that is known as valerian degeneration if it is in the proximal part it is known as the retrograde degeneration and in this video i tried to explain i tried to explain what are the degenerative changes in the proximal part and what are the degenerative changes in the distal part that is valerian degeneration and retrograde degeneration and finally in case of peripheral nervous system how the regeneration is taking place both in the proximal part of the neuron and also at the distal part of the neuron in response to any injury hope everything is clear to you if is if it is liked by you please share to your friends and subscribe the channel channel to get me motivated thank you